Hey guys, I'm back and welcome all of you to my new video tutorial. This tutorial is going to uh, talk about the uh, properties of some feature classes. So the main and prime objective of this tutorial is to investigate or to examine the properties of some feature classes. Uh, look, uh, there are a bunch of uh, feature classes here. I mean, like bike, facilities, hospitals. But the thing is that, yeah, it, it looks like, I mean, all of these uh, feature class are categorized in shape file. But what sort of shape file are this? We don't know. Yeah, we can, we can assume if you are expert or if you are familiar with that, but what happens if someone, if someone really does not know about so that's where this uh, uh, tutorial is going to work for them. So we are going to use, I mean, some sort of Python inbuilt uh, function. The first one, the very important one is list feature class function, followed by it, we are gonna use a couple of others like, I mean, describe to uh, portray, I mean, to bring out the properties of this, uh, feature classes and lastly we are gonna use I mean some uh, function which will work on formatting or arranging our text so without further delay let's just jump into our tutorial so as usual uh, I have to uh, just first call up on the Python uh, window in my interface as usual first uh, I have to set up my environment uh look i want to remind you that uh in my previous video i have clarified each and everything about setting your arcfi environment in python window so if you are still in doubt uh, about how to use it how to set it up please go back and i would highly recommend you to watch that video in my channel called latlang encoder and then come back and try uh, this method on yourself by yourself so first let's import sorry uh, argpy then from argpy import env the short of environment and environment once it is set up then we are going to use workspace and workspace is going to specify the file location so as it's a string value we should use copy and paste the file location as usual i'm going to use the forward slash method of python file system you can use it double slash uh, backward slash or you can also use the r symbol i mean r letter so this is the file path here okay now uh, i'm going to use uh, the argpy dot list feature classes which will work on list out all the shift file here first i mean fragment it and arrange it in a list then uh, we will work on it bit by bit so first let's assign a variable called feature class list feature class list it's a uh, variable under this variable all the uh, feature class will be uh, I mean enlisted so let's call up on archpy once again dot list feature classes okay this is the advantage of using python window it suggests you to pick up the automat i mean auto completed code i just took this in i mean advantage okay look this is the helping or i mean suggested code block or 
parameters, uh, wildcard, feature type, feature data set uh, should be as the parameter for this function. But one thing I would request you to, I mean, dig into the matter that a list feature classes, uh, these parameters are put in the curly brackets. So when something is uh, put in the curly brackets, it indicates that it's not mandatory, it's not compulsory, rather it's an optional parameter. So either you can uh, put any parameter for it or you can also skip it and let it go. So for our case, we are not gonna use any parameter for this, rather we are uh, leaving it default or empty. Now, uh, till line four, uh, the code explains that we have already, uh, I mean, listed all the shift file in a definite form. I mean, list out. But this list is somewhat big. Okay, but we have to call upon each uh, feature class, I mean, shift file, one by one. So for that, for loop works very well. So let's use for loop for fc it's a uh, is smaller variable than i mean fc list i mean fc is going to work uh, to iterate for each and every element enlisted in fc list so for fc in fc list okay don't forget to put the punctuation mark colon. Be careful about it. Now, we are going to assign another variable called desk. D-E-S-C, desk. Desk is the abbreviation of like, I mean, description. So now we have entered the individual list of this, this list exactly. Now, we are going to describe the properties of the uh, each properties of each shift file. For that case, we have to use another function called describe. So describe is under arcpy. Once again, we have to use it and describe. Don't forget to capitalize describe. Otherwise, it's not going to work. You know that. You should bear in mind that Python is very sensitive in case, I mean, like case sensitive. If you put any letter uh, in lower case, however it was supposed to be in upper case, it's not gonna work. So be careful about, I mean, case sensitivity in letter. Okay, describe and what we are are going to describe. In fact, indeed, I mean, describe is going to describe FC, I mean, feature class. So let's put the feature class in the parenthesis. We are almost done. We are just left with the last line code, and that is purpose to uh, format our text, how we want that uh, to be found in the printed window. To accomplish this part, we are going to use another two function, I mean, kind of method called base name, which is purpose to work uh, to print out the main name of the shift file. And another method called shift type, uh, it's aimed to work for, bring out the geometric shape uh, that a shift file took like either it's a polygon, polyline, or poly uh, point. So to do so first, we have to write print. Print is followed by the variable called desk, a dot, and dot is followed by a method. Here method is base name. Now we are going to use plus symbol, operational plus symbol. Uh, because we want the first part 
to be concatenated with the last one. So plus sign is going to work for concatenation. And another extra thing that we are uh, wanting it to be inserted in our um, code for better understanding or to uh, make our code more readable. That is colon, sorry. Followed by colon, there should be another plus for concatenation. And once again, desk, the variable, another dot and another dot is followed by the last method called shave type. Okay, so we are all set almost. Before pressing the enter, let's check it out whether we had made any blunder or minor mistake mistakes print desk base name plus desk shape type yeah it looks perfect for me we are good to go let's press the enter and let's see what happens yeah successfully we uh, have that result our code has been executed and please just have a look the formation of the text bike routes this is the main uh, i mean name of the shape file and after that there is uh, a column so this is the base name and base name followed by the shape file uh, geometric shape so bike routes is a polygon file polygon shape facilities is a point shape file hospitals point and so on the I mean GPS polygon so that's how we can easily identify uh, the shape file uh, be categorized either in polygon point or polyline so it's a very effective way and also we have used the uh, python code uh, it can be saved for later use so that's the advantage that's all for the time being i hope you have liked my video if you have please do subscribe to my channel i will come up with another new video very soon till then bye bye allah hafiz